Hi guys, it's Joe at PC Repairs 101 um, and today I've got this HP 15. So it's the Intel i5, uh, Intel Core i5 8th gen. Very quick laptop. This one I actually bought in recently to get the actual specific model number. Um, there's obviously there's quite a few variations of the uh, HP 15. So this is the HP 15 BS 158 SA. I bought this in about last week of a customer um, who didn't want it, it had a faulty hard drive. Uh, I've now sold it, I need to get it ready for a customer tomorrow. I'm actually going to put his old hard drive um, from uh, earlier HP into um, this laptop for him. Um, I forgot the hard drive left at work, doesn't matter, I'm going to show you how to remove the hard drive anyway. Uh, I'll show you how to remove the RAM at the same time, it's pretty much the same process. Um, so yeah. We'll start by um, showing you what I'm going to use. So I've got my precision tool driver set. I've got my little splice, I call it a splicer tool. I think it's called like a smudger or something. I asked another technician I worked with the other day. I think it's called a smudger. Um, I need to remember really, I should really know what they're called. But yeah, let's start the um, strip down for the hard drive replacement. <laughs> Okay, to start off with, I've got just this and this uh, microfiber cloth just to put it down on so it doesn't scratch. So I'm going to start off obviously removing the battery. So two little clips, push them together, pop the battery out. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to hold down the power button for about 10 seconds just to deplete any other electronical charge left in there. Um, as to minimise the chance of shorting it out, which is usually very unlikely, but we just want to minimise it to um, pretty much 0%. So, just deplete the charge. And then we're going to start stripping it down. So, we've got the obvious screws here. We've got one, two, three, four obvious screws here, and then we've got five, six there. So, we'll start with them. So, let's start unscrewing them. Remember to keep all your screws in the same place that you popped them in, kind of the same sort of pattern. I've actually stripped this one down before. Unfortunately, due to laptops nowadays, they use a lot cheaper plastic. They tend to, the threading tends to break off a little bit more. This thread has actually broken off, so obviously you guys will unscrew this screw here. I'm not going to, because that's not actually attached to the palm rest. So unscrew this screw here. Again, although I said keep these all in the same uh, place so you know which ones are what, the screws are the same sizes but it's just good practice just to kind of put them in a rough sort of layout as when you take and check them out. So, screw the middle one. So yeah, you might think, okay, we've unscrewed all the screws. We haven't. There's a few hidden screws. So under these covers, under these little rubber covers, the resting covers, there are actually screws. So gently, Peel them off, as to not damage them. So these just peel off, they're just stuck on with uh, some double sided tape. Obviously they're not intended to be taken off but they haven't made them permanent because obviously sometimes you do need to strip down a laptop. So we'll just peel these off. And then as you can see, or maybe not, I'll bring it a little bit closer, we've got four screws so we've got one two three and four so we're just going to unscrew them same process just screw these again these are all the same size screw so it doesn't really matter which one goes in what so we'll just unscrew these Yeah. Now what we're going to do is flip it over, open it up, and we're going to crack open the palm rest from the base. So you can see, I'll bring the camera, I'll bring it as close as I can to the camera. This is where we're going to be splitting it, along this line here. So just find a point where you can put your tool in, 
find a point where sometimes some places will be easier than others, so just slide your tool along. You'll find a point where it kind of fits in. There we go. So we've got a point there. What we're going to do is just start popping it out. And just once it's popped out, you can just literally follow that all along. Can you see? Just popping it out. Palm rest is slowly lifting from the base. Careful not to damage anything. Like I say in my other videos, so what you want to do is you want to be careful, but you also don't want to be too careful. You still want to put a little bit of force into it. So basic rule of thumb is don't ever do anything to the point that it will physically break the plastic. So you know, I'm pulling it out, pulling it out, I'm giving it a little bit, but I'm not giving it to the point that it might snap anything. If you do get doing it to the point that it snap anything, you're gonna break something. So flip it on its side again, I'll just put the anti or the microfiber cloth. Then we're gonna just kind of ease it off now. You can if you can see here I'm pushing my thumb that way and I'm pulling my hand that way. So there's two little clips. Two little clips there. And I couldn't see on the camera but there and there. So you want to just like pull that so that these clips kind of just come out. You also want to be careful where the USBs are and the HDMIs are just to not get it caught. But that just pop off and there we go. I've got the laptop. So if you wanted to remove the RAM, I'll zoom in. Do the RAM first. You want to remove the RAM, very simple. Pull them to the side, pops the RAM out. Got the RAM, 4 gigabyte DDR4. The zoom, that's not going to focus, or is it going to focus? No, doesn't really matter anyway. But that's 4 gigabyte DDR4. Pop it back in. So what I'm mainly going to show you is the hard drive removal. So we've got the hard drive here. So get your Phillips screwdriver. You want to unscrew this silver screw first. I'll zoom in so you can get a nice clean shot of the hard drive. So you want to unscrew this silver screw first. Put that to the side and then we'll be able to take it out. Bing bang bong. Sorted. Then we've got a screw here and a screw here. So you just want to unscrew them. Take that off. And then you want to get your other hard drive. I'm using the same hard drive, but let's just say it's another hard drive. Because obviously if you're doing a hard drive replacement, you're either upgrading to an SSD or you're replacing the faulty hard drive that's in it that's unfortunately failed. So you want to pop that back on. And just simply screw them into place. Cool, there we have it guys. That is how you um, replace a hard drive and remove the RAM if you wanted to. In a HP 15, I'm never gonna remember the exact details, HP 15 BS158SA laptop. If you like my videos, remember to subscribe, please. Thank you, that'd be hugely appreciated. I do unboxings, uh, I do strip downs, mainly strip downs, repairs, advice on repairs, how to do repairs, how to do cleanups, um, and I'll probably make a few little fun videos. I really wanna make a video on uh, frying an egg on a CPU. I've always wanted to do that, so we're going to do that one at some point. Uh, remember to give this video a like if you like it, give it a thumbs down if you don't, but just tell me why you don't like it so I can improve on the future ones. And leave a comment um, in the comments section if you have any questions or you just want to say nice video. Appreciate it. Also, just a quick one, I will post a link in the description on where to buy some precision tool screw, uh, screwdrivers. 
and also where to buy these little tools. So yeah, I'll post a link in the description below on where to buy them as well as where to buy the laptops themselves. Uh, and the cheapest place to buy the laptops, of course.